In this video, I'm going to discuss Baki's mountain training on Yasha Creek. And by the end, I'll use my knowledge on exercise science to determine, will it work in real life? But first, let's cover some background. Baki, the main protagonist of Grappler Baki, is in pursuit to defeat his father, Yujiro, the strongest being on Earth. Yujiro Hanma was able to defeat different types of animals, a performance jack of all trades and many feats, and even went as far as taking down an army of armed forces, making the government afraid of his power. So he's a pretty strong dude. And if Baki wants to succeed in this mission, he must make sure he surpasses the genetic potential of Hanma blood in order to overpower him. He must train. Baki Hanma has actually spent most of his life training. As a younger kid, he trained with Yujiro and in his early teen years with the luxury of having a rich mother, he was training in a facility with the best strength coaches and fancy exercise equipment. And for those that don't know, his mom is very obsessed with strong people. Yujiro told her that her main task as a mother was to create a strong warrior and luckily for him, she has quite the fetish for strong people, as you can see. But Baki realized there was a great shortcoming in doing fixed programs and having all this fancy equipment and coaches when he lost to 100 thugs and a boxing world champion. It wasn't enough to defeat Yujiro. He had to stop relying on strength coaches and start gaining some real world experience and application. So he raged out of the gym, took his belongings, and went up to a mountain to meet an old friend Ando who would then take him under his wing. Baki expressed his interest to Ando about fighting the Yasha ape and was told that it was simply suicide. The only person to ever succeed in this was Yujiro. This sparked a flame in Baki, but in an unfortunate turn of events, he lost the first round and even lost the guidance of Ando in the process. Since he was so injured, he had to be evacuated from the mountain and sent to medical assistance. But Baki didn't lose hope. Instead, he saw through his flaws and decided to take his time training solo so he can come back and strive. This was the return of Baki. Let's go over his training. So as we all know, right off the bat, Baki was already strong. He made it to a mountaintop on foot with hundreds of pounds worth of belongings, including his bench press and heavy bag, which these alone would give the average person trouble. So to think he still struggled against the ape is pretty shocking. Now for more of his real world movement, Ando was seen chopping wood, and I'm sure Baki implemented this in his training. This builds power, rotational strength, and is a great tool for the posterior muscles like the shoulders and back. If Ippo Makanoichi developed the demon back from doing this, then you can only tell how this affected Baki's performance, mixing it with the Hanma genetics. Baki was also seen doing sprints with a huge rock on his back. This was a smart move considering what he is up against. He needs the endurance to be able to defeat the ape and withstand its strength, considering the huge weight gap between them. This is also a very good tool for power output and it increases muscle activation in sprint specific movements. Another form of endurance shown was Baki doing high rep calisthenics. This is when you perform an exercise with as much time under tension as possible. This is also shown with Baki climbing a rope to the highest peak of a tree, considering the distance between his body and the ground. Completing this movement comes with not dying. I guess this was added motivation to get his gains. And last but not least, martial arts. Baki was not only sharpening his martial arts skills, but also conditioning his bones when punching trees instead of a heavy bag. This way, his bones don't break when he's fighting the ape, and also, the ape can feel the impact from his hits. If y'all are enjoying this video so far and want to see how you can train like Guts from Berserk, then be sure to comment Berserker, and I'll be sure to put this up in the future. The biggest aspect of his training was his endorphin activation. Endorphins are the chemicals in your brain released when you feel pain or stress. They're even released when feeling pleasure during exercise, eating, meditation, and yes, including near-death experience. This method enhances all motor skills that are used to pretty much keep you from dying. Some examples are from when he was climbing the rope. Not only was his muscles stressed, but as I mentioned earlier, he had to make sure he didn't fall to the ground and die during this movement. When Baki was running with the rock on his back, he had an endorphin rush through runner's high. Not only is this a euphoric sensation of happiness and achievement, but in most cases, this masks your pain receptors because of the adrenaline rush and will sometimes make you run longer distances without realizing it. And finally, near-death focus when jumping off the cliff of the mountain. This was life or death, and he fully depended on his motor skills to dodge all obstacles and survive. 
in a real life situation, I can 100% guarantee this won't end well unless you're lucky. Clearly, Baki characters are built different. And when you're the main character of an anime, your chances of succeeding are just higher. Now, will it work? Only on a toned down scale. If you attempt to train exactly like Baki, it's just not going to end well. And I highly advise you don't attempt this training. But this channel is all about balancing reality with fiction. And of course, for y'all, I created a program called The Return of Baki. This is for those that want to train like Baki and are inspired to do so. Not only does it replicate it in a safer way, but it will help you make progress. Be sure to check the link in the description box below to get access to not only this program, but all my other programs. So y'all, this was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more videos like these, then be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And with that said, be sure to check out my video on methods that will help you get jacked like your favorite action hero with calisthenics. I'll see you there.